What's up with your man's out there? What's up, man? Chillin', man. I see business booming as usual. Now, you know we stay pumping around here, but what the business is? Okay. Got that little bread for you. Bread's out there. Oh, yeah. Hey, kid, come this up, man. It's like that? We'll definitely get to it. It's all business, player. Anyway, man, listen, word on the street competition got a little bound in your head, man. Be careful. That there is my boy Kato Kane And as y'all can see That was his dialogue Even that was pressure You know the whole plot of the video was fire And here go the music man It just hit even better And just put it all together So y'all check out his channel Dope burglar bars, camera zone, gotta watch them boys. Runs for cheap in that base hit hard. Got the neighbors like, oh my god, they keep complaining about all the noise. Streets packed with all the cars. Laptops can't trace this. A couple niggas that still do fraud. But got some that going raw. A couple more, yeah, they got jobs. But catch plays on the side, low key, just a little something. Now trap too hard. Stat team keep switching up. Peep everything, not just on tours. But 12 no, they can't stop. They set up shop somewhere else for more. Dealers, lots of killers, poverty living, stay optimistic. You gotta be killing no pop. Never hung with a lot of Might set up shop somewhere else tomorrow. That's right. I feel you. I feel you. That's heat. Like I told y'all, go check out my boy, man. Cause as y'all can see, he coming with that pressure, man. He got a nice flow to him. And uh the visuals was fire. Whoever did them visuals, straight heat, man. Straight heat. So yeah, y'all go check him out, man. Show your boy some love, man. You know, he a part of the family and whatnot. You know, he rock with us here on the channel. So, you know, we're gonna kick that love back out to him. You feel me? But with that being said, let's get to it. Lead What's going on today, folks? It's your boy King KO back with another video. And for today's topic, man, we got quite a few of them, man. You know, we got to talk about TBG. Y'all can see Fredo right there, man. So y'all know we're going to dive into that. Then we got to talk about Honeycomb Brazy. You know, Young and Ace and his new accomplishment, man, and whatnot. You know what I'm saying? Offset and Cardi B. And then I got a special topic I want to talk to y'all about. You know what I'm saying? Later on, you feel me? Uh, you know what I'm saying? It's pertaining to, like, the food that you eat and whatnot. You know what I'm saying? So, uh, you definitely want to stay tuned to that. Stay tuned to the end of the video. You do not want to miss a bit of this situation. So, uh, yeah, man. Before we get started, y'all know y'all know the regulars, man. We got to say the regular degulars. You feel me? Uh, Make sure you like the video. Subscribe. Ring that bell icon and whatnot. Spam that comment section. Blow it up. Force YouTube to go ahead and share this video around and whatnot. You know what I'm saying? As well as sharing the video. You know, if you share the video, that helps your mans out. You know what I'm saying? It helps it be promoted to more people. You know, that way we can uh, widen the family. You know what I'm saying? And have more people in here to tap into and turn this conversation into something that's viral. You know, something world round. You hear me? So, yeah, man, do that favor for your guy one time. And also go tap into my, my guy, Kato Kane channel once again, you know what I'm saying? Because he up and coming, you know what I'm saying? He on a rise and you don't want to miss that rise. You don't want to tap in at the end. You want to be a part of the beginning. So you can say, man, I watched you rise from the time you was trying to get there till I seen you get there. You know what I'm saying? As well as, you know, the same thing here, man. Make sure y'all tapping in right now because y'all don't want to be here at the end. Y'all want to be here from the whole time y'all see it happen. You know what I'm saying? That way you can be a part of it. But with that being said, let's get to it. Believe that. First up, we got Cardi B and Offset. And Cardi B did something, in my opinion, was disgusting. Eating scab in the morning. That's my scab. My skin is. As y'all can see, Cardi B was eating Offset scab. Y'all let me know what y'all think about that in the comment section. And. April 14. Uh, what? <laughs> 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 
<laughs> As y'all can see, family. Next up, we got Young and Ace. And Young and Ace shared a post that a fan shared that basically said he don't listen to him. He said, I'm broke, bye-bye. But the reason why Young and Ace is in this video is because he just had a new mural that was painted of him, you know, in his home city of Jacksonville, Florida. So shout out to that man, but y'all check this out. But Ace, hey, but did you know that in the city, bye? Gotta have video shoot right here. What the? Yeah, yeah. Shout out to that boy, man. Shout out to that boy. But next up, man, we got that boy Cleasy Five. You know the top dog, big boss. But on the cool, man, he uh shared a post that said, "Nah, let's get back to the money." Free yo yo hashtag free yo yo hashtag free you too OG. But then he also goes on to say, you know what I'm saying, and this was pertaining to Fred Bang, you know, when he said this. But he was saying, um, yeah, he back with the heart and gorilla emojis. Then we got Trapland Pat. Trapland Pat pretty much, you know, comes out and says, if you're telling a girl who your ops is, you might as well just uh, be a police. Do y'all agree with that? Then we got that man's, you know what I'm saying, Roy Black Osama, or you know, y'all know. TBG Osama, you already know the bands, but he lets it known that he ain't doing no boss tripping. Then he has some more stuff to say, you know what I'm saying? And pretty much what he went on to say was, play and watch how I rock out. I love it when they scream. See, my boy on his Michael Myers type of time, man. He, 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 <laughs> hey, he bringing a real meaning to demon time, ain't he? Then he also goes on to say, pick a side and die there. If y'all don't think that first uh, little thing was was bad enough, this gotta be, man. He said, pick a side and die there, because he ain't playing with nobody. That's how he feeling, man. Well, uh, I'm gonna tell you, man, brother, calm down, brody. But then uh, we got a post that came from that man Fat Chapo where he basically said, you know, he's been praying about Fredo Bang and he glad to see that he home and whatnot. You know what I'm saying? So shout out to that man too. And then Reezy Boulevard, my boy, comes out and says, welcome back to the Bang Man. Now, these are just a few little clips of, you know, a lot of people showing love out to Fredo Bang and him being home. You know, uh, G Money, G2's mama uh, said heart and gorilla emoji, you know, basically saying, I'm happy you back home. Then Trapland Pat shares this post of Fred O'Bang, you know, saying he happy he back home too. Then we got Lit Yoshi, you know, making a post that Hot Boy Do shared, saying that Hot Boy Do was dropping tomorrow with the grill emoji and the blood sign. You know what I'm saying? And uh, this is just the original post. That first one was, you know, that man Hot Boy Do reposting and sharing it, you know, being excited. You know what I'm saying? Because he he definitely has talent, man. Hot Boy Do is somebody to be looking out for you know if you're a real tbg pimp fan or supporter you know what i'm saying you support you know all that music especially the ones who really got heat you know like lit yoshi fredo bang boulevard quick g, g money seven hardaway you know went easy all of them you know what i'm saying little ivy jr you know everybody you know i don't want to miss nobody out boulevard sleepy all them if you really supporting the ones who really got that heat on the mic then hot boy do you would definitely be a supporter of because this song was this song was heat. As you can see, man, he just traveling, man, getting ready to do that rapper lifestyle. He getting acclimated into the game. You know what I'm saying? And, you know, another little post that said dropping tomorrow and dropping. Yes, he did. Bro, definitely deliver, man. Hot boy dude did this one, man. Y'all got to go check it out. If y'all don't check it out, you tripping and slipping, boy, on your pimping and all of that, man, because this man went in. No cap. This was one for the ages. He also had Real Bang in there. If y'all don't know who Real Bang is, he from 300, man. So you can see the, uh, you know, the camaraderie between, you know, uh, TBG and 300. You know what I'm saying? It's, it's, it's a brotherhood being locked in. It's one being created, you know. It's one being created. I wouldn't call it clicking up. I call it, you know, we came from the same hood and we grew up together. We always been cool. You know what I'm saying? And now the line light starting to realize it. But let's go ahead and move on to the next one. Believe that. Fredo Bang is finally home, family. He finally home. So y'all... Take your chill pill, calm down, sit back, and be happy. This one was the first one that came out, the academic shared, you know what I'm saying? And it was him actually leaving, you know, the parish with his bags, man. You know, he got the scruffy CJ from San Andreas t shirt on and whatnot. And he's sitting at the uh, table, getting re acclimated to the to the world once again, because I don't care how much time you do. It takes time to get back into the funk of things, man. It's just unreal that first day you release. As you can see, he back in the car beating his music, you know what I'm saying, with that boy Top Boy Sticks, you know, hanging out and doing what he's supposed to be doing. You know, but on the cool, man, I just want to say this, man. Welcome home to the big eight. You know what I'm saying? 
it, it, hey man, that, that was too long for nothing, man. You know what I'm saying? So I hope everything is going well. You know what I'm saying? Get to your money and get back to the bag like you're supposed to be. And then he went on to, you know, my Instagram story and pretty much watched a few stories. So I'm telling y'all once again, make sure you, you know, uh, y'all spam them, man, and let it be known, man. I need that first interview. Get it from a real one. Don't go mess with no academics or Vlad TV or nothing like that. But next up, man, we got Fredo Banks Instagram. And as you guys can see on his Instagram, he pretty much went in there and deleted everything. You know what I'm saying? He deleted everything. And to me, this gave off red flags. This gave off, y'all know that red flag game that's going around. To me, that's what it, it was sent off. You know, as far as like everything that had been on his Instagram as of lately came from, you know, Def Jam and the people that was running his Instagram posting stuff. So the removal of everything lets it be known to me. Now, I'm not trying to allegedly, I'm going to say allegedly because I ain't trying to stir up anything. You know, I ain't no messy person or nothing like that. But from what I can see, it seems as though, you know, the, the blood between him and uh, Def Jam is very, very bad. It's very, very tainted. There's a real situation going on. And that wasn't just a situation out of anger of being locked up. He really feels hurt and betrayed by you know Def Jam for what I can see from this you know from him removing everything like that that lets it be known you know it's a real situation where he's done he's cool on Def Jam he cool on everything that they posted he don't want nothing to do with them or anything that they promoted for him so you know uh it's, it's probably a time in which Fredo Banks gonna move on as y'all can see if y'all scroll over all he had on there was the new video mini man from him and Jada Youngin as well as you know two older videos if you go over a little bit more to the right so you know what I'm saying this this is showing that he is done with Def Jam in my opinion that's what I read from this you know and um yeah man he gonna move on to bigger and better things man so more power to you brother whatever you do you know what I'm saying as far as your future and your career moving forward continue to move on the pathway that you've been moving on because obviously you know which way you headed which route you trying to go bro because you made it there already so more power to you homie really that next up we got the big blood honeycomb brazy as he says, you know, uh, happy birthday to his grandpa and speaks about how much he love him. You know, just reminiscing about his grandpa. Rest in peace to his grandpa, man. That's a sad situation. Free Brazy once again. Believe that. Next up, we got a TikToker on TikTok, well, an influencer, and he pretty much went viral and blew up his channel based off of these few clips right here. And in these clips, he spoke about, you know, what was inside of our food, well, what they fed, you know, to animals, you know what I'm saying, to feed and what they uh, eat that ultimately goes into their body. And when we eat these animals, basically comes out of our body, which creates a lot of sicknesses and stuff like that. So I want y'all to stay tuned through, throughout the rest of this. All that. This is waste from different businesses, bakeries, cookie places, all types of stuff. You know what I'm saying? Some of your favorite foods, but they just molded and old. Got a bunch of rats and stuff in them. Yep. Yep, they all going in here. Love the line. Wait, grinder. <laughs> Told y'all. Boxes and all. Don't matter. It all go in there. And then y'all eat the hog. <laughs> I'm going to talk over this little clip because it was copyright music in here. But in this clip, he just talked about how they try to filter out all the trash. So the people say that they do filter out the trash. But he said we can't filter out uh, mostly everything. So a lot of it still gets caught in there. You know, it get grinded up and still gets caught in there because they can't get it all after it's grinding. You feel right, what I'm saying? There's a lot of haters on my posts. And fuckers, but this is really hog feed. Okay. All they do is, it's a process, you know what I'm saying? Of course they try to take out all the trash, as much trash as they can. But, this is the ending process. See this? <laughs> Feed. I'll show y'all more me today for spreading the truth. Should I post everything? Stuff like this. Just put it in here. 
plastic and all. Don't even matter. Plastic cardboard boxes, pallets, everything is grounded into this right here. And that right there is cooked at like a thousand degrees in there. Then I'll show you the rest of the process in a minute. They fire. Bom, 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 bom. <laughs> How you say that? I got a little, yeah, I mean. And for those of y'all who say they picked the trash out, the boxes don't be in there. Oh, yeah. <laughs> See, I told you poos. Garbage. <laughs> Plastic. Cardboard boxes. Rats. Spiders. All that. Yeah. Y'all believe me now. Go so up the line. To that big on the ground. And it grinds it out and turn it into that. And then the hog eats it. This is what it looked like when it's done. The hog eat it and then you eat the hog. <laughs> this is the end product. It really is grain feed. This is the end product. I put this here that way y'all can do y'all own research on the whole situation and what y'all actually eating people just think stop being cattle that's all I'm saying stop being cattle I love y'all peace and blessings kings and queens I love y'all that's the reason why you know I make sure that I speak this like to y'all even though it's getting the channel black you know what and whatever you know what I'm saying they're not trying to promote us like they supposed to like they used to because of the stuff that I keep telling y'all but I'm gonna keep on pushing it because I want y'all to understand what's going on here you feel me you know what I'm saying so y'all let me know y'all thoughts on this down in the comment section but let's go ahead and move on to the last part family before we get up out of here i want to say congratulations to shay gilgis alexander for a very very good game you know beating the lakers putting up 28 points you know what i'm saying he dropped seven for you know what i'm saying i mean nine for 17 from the field and he was also four for seven from three with a deep three from the logo the lakers logo you know what i'm saying that he knocked down which was an incredible shot this man really showed that he's a superstar and in my opinion the best young player in the nba better than luka john donjic better than trey young you know better than darian fox better than you know any of the comparisons that compare it to him he's more efficient and he's just a smarter iq basketball player than all of them so shout out to shay gilgis alexander it's about time that he gets his respect like he deserves also before we go i want to say man Man, stop the Darius Baisley disrespect because he's not being used right in OKC. Last night was a blueprint of how he should have been used all year. And for the past few years, let him attack the basket and kick out to three-point land. He's not a person that spots up and shoot threes, man. Use the man the right way. You know what I'm saying? But yeah, man, with that being said, make sure y'all like, subscribe, share the video, show your boy that love. You know, all that love that y'all like to do. And with that being said, I'm out. Believe it, 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 it.